What is going on, all you Pokemon collecting maniacs out there? This is Ryan, the Pika Pika Papa, and what will probably come as no surprise to any of you out there is uh, I have a structure, I have an order to most things that I do in my life, and the Pika Pika Papa uh, channel is no exception, right? Like, you know that there's a series of videos that I do every single month. I think they're incredibly impactful. I think they give us a great line of sight uh, into what's going on in the Pokemon collecting and investing hobby, and I absolutely love them. And one of the video series that I do here is every single month we look at Sword and Shield, Sun and Moon, XY, Scarlet and Violet, and we see how various products within those spaces have performed performed month over month. So we look at the top 20 cards from each set that has a booster box. We look at booster box prices, ETBs, PC ETBs, all of those things. And the point of that exercise and the data dives and all of that work that I put into it is because I want all of us to play chess when everybody else is playing checkers. I want us to have a finger on the pulse of what's going on, and if we get the opportunity to identify some trends or some patterns before everybody else does, then hey, kudos to us. One of the benefits of being a member of the Pika Pika Pop Pop channel. So with that being said, I was pulling all of the data for Sword and Shield, and I got so excited because look at Brilliant Stars. There on the right, you see all of the top 20 cards, and 19 of the 20 are in green, and they're not just in green. We're we're talking a lot of double digit gains there like it is absolutely incredible to see that right there's been a lot of bah humbug about the hobby as of late right a lot of a lot of naysayers a lot of people who think that pokemon is on the naughty list but look at brilliant stars being on the nice list and i thought i can't wait until sunday to share this with you all because on sunday is where i'm going to share with you you know the sword and shield and we're going to look at all the other 11 sets but Brilliant Stars being what it is, a lot of us are super bullish on Brilliant Stars and, you know, in the fact and the place that it has in the Sword and Shield era, right? A lot of us think that obviously Evolving Skies is number one. Brilliant Stars could end up as the number two, number three, at worst case, number four best set in the whole era. So seeing it pop off like this was so exciting for me. I was like, I've got to put it together. And we're going to look at eight of these top 20 cards and how they've moved over the last month. Now, remember that we are only looking at month over month price movements. You see some of these and it's just incredible to see how high they've climbed in a Span of 30 days, right? Now, if you see something that's up four or five percent, don't shake a fist at it. That's big movement over the course of 30 days. So, listen, as I said, we do fun stuff like this all the time, the data-driven channel, all kinds of things to help you keep your finger on the pulse of the hobby. So if that excites you and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, give us a shot. Hit that subscribe button. Questions or comments, drop them down below. And as always, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Those three small things go a long way in helping my channel out. Let's me know you appreciate the work that I put in here. So, without further ado, let's get into some brilliant star cards and how they've been performing over the last 30 days. Now, this Sylveon card, I had to start with it, right? Because you know, six, eight weeks ago, I can't remember how long it was, uh, I did a video on some of the trainer gallery cards that I think have a lot of room to run, and this Sylveon was one of them. There's people out there who are murmuring, you know, maybe trainer gallery guards are going to be like the next tag team cards. Well, let's be honest here, there is no next tag team, right? The Sun and Moon era was just unique all in of itself because of the pandemic, and just the hobby's in a different space. But that doesn't mean that tag team cards don't have a very bright future, and I think this card for a long time was flying under the radar. Sylveon's and incredibly popular. This has amazing artwork. It comes from Brilliant Stars. So it was exciting for me to see that this one popped off, right? It went from $14.82 up to $16.24, up almost 10% in the last 30 days. Absolutely amazing. I was really excited to see this. And I also include two things here when we're going to go through this. On the left, you see the price chart for a whole year, so I think it's interesting to kind of blow it up, see how the price has performed over the last year, and then I kind of squeeze it down a little bit, and we look at how the price has performed over the last three months. So I love the fact that over the year, it tells us everything that's been going on, but then when you get down to the three-month view, you can really see what's been going on. So really exciting. This card obviously had a real hard fall over the last three months. Now it's working its way back up, so exciting to see this card, and really pumped because I think this card has a very bright future. Now, Getting into the next one right here, Charizard V-Star Rainbow. We've been talking about it on this channel. The price has been coming down like we felt there was going to be some point where the market just says, hey, listen, that price is too low. Now, one thing I'm going to say about this big price spike right here, uh, this could be driven by a buyout, right? Like people could have just said, hey, listen, we're going to buy every single one of these that we can. We're going to try and artificially rise the, raise the price of this, uh, and then we're going to sell a couple real quick to make some money. Or the hobby could have just said, hey, listen, at 50 bucks, this is an absolute steal. Everybody had the same idea at the same time. Every buyout... Everyone piled in and bought this card. Who knows? But I will say this. 
up almost 30% over the last 30 days is absolutely insane, right? Absolutely insane. Look at that. This thing has been dropping like a rock uh, ever since, really ever since Brilliant Stars came out. Now, that is not uncommon. We should keep that in mind, right? Brilliant Stars, you know, was one of the later sets that came out in the Sword and Shield era. Sets normally go through this Pokemon pop and flop. It's not uncommon to see singles drop for the first 12, 16, even 18 months sometimes. So the fact that these were coming down wasn't a big alarm. You know, I think all of us kept saying, hey, Brilliant Stars is going to do what it's going to do. Forget about the current prices. Forget about the current trends. Like if you have a long-term time horizon, like 5, 10, 20 years, Brilliant Stars is going to be great. So don't worry about it right now. Now you always want to buy at the best possible price you can. But at the end of the day, we all felt Brilliant Stars was going to do well. So love seeing this Charizard pop off right here. Now, the Ultra Ball I wanted to include on here because it's really cool. You know, we were going to see all these price trends, right? We've seen the first two, the awesome card of Sylveon, that awesome rainbow Charizard, right? And over the one-year path, they were all the way down, right? There was no question about it. It was steady Eddie down and to the right. But Ultra Ball has been out, totally opposite, right? The Ultra Ball has had a ton of love. Everybody's been collecting it. The price has been going up, like lots and lots of love for it. So when I saw that this one had a really strong price appreciation still over the last month, like I thought, hey, we got to call it out because you will see it was growing in price. Then it was flat. At, right the market has been in a little bit of a you know been kicked in the shins a little bit so ultra ball kind of slowed down on its growth there but really over the last three months it's been performing really really well so excited to see this card kind of popping up there even though four percent is kind of modest compared to the rest still four percent over 30 days nothing to shake a fist at now the Charizard V, obviously the big card, right? This is the big dog in Brilliant Stars. And again, this is another card that has just been following the normal Pokemon pop and flop trend, right? It's been down, 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 down. But it seems like it might have found that support line, right? And by support line, I simply mean that almost every card, right, that has any kind of collector interest, when it gets to a certain point, the market is just going to say, hey, listen, the card can't get in. Like, we're buying, we're all in on this. Like, at $110, it feels like the market said, okay, listen, Pokemon full art, you know, the V, you know, you've you've gone down far enough, okay? Like, we're not going to wait any longer at $110. We know Brilliant Stars is going to be great. Obviously, this alt art is a big chase card. So at $110, people started to pile in, and that's why you see the price going up here kind of aggressively over the last month. Now, I need to see a couple more months of price growth before I sit here and say, plant my flag in the sand and say, hey, listen, Brilliant Stars is officially back, but these are all good signs. I love seeing the big chase card kind of pounce up a little bit, right? Up 4.5% over the last 30 days. Seeing some support there at the $110 mark, all of these are good signs as far as I'm concerned. I was really excited to add this one to the list. Now, the Arceus V right here, another rainbow, right? Like we just went ahead and we saw that Charizard rainbow, right? The secret rare. Now guess what? Here's the Arceus and it did almost the exact same thing. Look at that really aggressive spike right there. The Charizard was up 30%. This one was up 35%. So, you know, my thought is, hey, listen, whoever was buying and taking a big position in the Charizard, whether they were buying and holding, whether they were trying to flip them for a short-term game, they were probably doing the same thing with this Arceus right here. But guess what? Pika Pika Papa, don't care. It still went up 35%. Absolutely crazy. Now you will see that over the last really weak or five days, uh, it's starting to calm down a little bit. It's starting to flatten out. And sometimes that's what happens when you see these, these big prices in short periods of time. So it'll be interesting to see where it shakes up in the long run, but certainly couldn't ignore that big 35% spike over the last 30 days. Now, Charizard. Again, the third. We all know there's four in this set. Spoiler alert, of course, the V-Star is going to be on here as well, right? Like, duh, of course, that's going to be on the list. But I think it's really exciting to see that all four of the Charizards are on here. This is obviously the V-Full Art. Um, I did a video on Wednesday. I talked about the possibility of Charizard, you know, being a little oversaturated in the market. Now, at the end of the video, it came full circle and I said, listen, you know, Charizard can absolutely be the Michael Jordan of the hobby, right? Like Michael Jordan's been retired forever, right? He played in the early 80s, you know, in the early 90s. You know, you can play with the Wizards, right, for a while. Uh, but he still has high demand to this day. And so Charizard can do that, in my opinion. I think 20, 30 years from now, I think Charizard, you know, will still obviously have the demand and collectability. But at the end of the day, this Charizard has a little bit of more of organic growth right Right there like look it's up 7.6 percent right it went from 1569 to 1689 love seeing that people are piling in i love seeing that the different cards you know irregardless of if it's the v full art or if it's the alternate art or whatever it is like people are all in on brilliant stars remember 19 of the 20 cards are up like that is there aren't 19 different people out there or 19 different buyouts going on out there right the overall feeling that i get is at least over the last 30 days a lot of people are piling in on brilliant stars and it's exciting to watch this so the next one right here speaking of exciting. I love Zapdos. I just absolutely do. I don't know when my slight obsession came up with uh, Zapdos, but it's there now, and now I love the card, so you guys are going to hear me talk about it all the time. Um, 
What was really exciting here is, listen, away from $8 flat to $8.90, up 11.3%. And we have seen a lot of really cool cards, right? We've seen a couple gold cards. We've obviously seen three of the four Charizard cards. And we've seen a couple rainbow cards. It's awesome to see, you know, these kind of chase and the specialty cards within the set uh, almost universally performing well. Again, that just tells me overall people are excited about the Brilliant Stars set. They're not picking out onesies, twosies. You know, you don't see the top three cards popping off or you don't see the bottom five cards. People finding value in just really top to bottom. Bottom, people are really excited about Brilliant Stars, at least over the last 30 days. And I was like, super excited to add this Zapdos right here because, hey, listen, again, as I said, for whatever reason, now I love Zapdos. So Zapdos and Gengar, those are my two now. All right, very next one right here. Of course, you know, we're going to finish off with the Charizard. This is the last one on the list. And uh, I will say this, you know, we looked at the Rainbow Charizard, right? We looked at the Rainbow Arceus. Uh, the growth on this one, even though it's really robust, right? It comes in at almost 25%, right? From $5.68 all the way up to $7.08. To me, this feels super organic, right? This isn't something where I think somebody just did a giant buyout or, you know, was trying to do some price manipulation out there. This looks like just organic growth. It's over the span of three or four weeks. Um, and I think people just realized, hey, this card's at sub $6. Like, I need to get this in my collection. Like, if Brilliant Stars does what all of us think it's gonna do and it ends up being one of the best Sword and Shield sets, you know, of the entire era. Think about it. I mean, Sword and Shield is old, right? <laughs> I mean, Sword, Sword and Shield is over a year old. Silver Tempest, like, I mean, Silver Tempest was the last one with the booster box, right? Right? And I think that came out in like November, right? And so anyways, all I'm saying is this, we're going to start to see more and more of this uh, in the Sword and Shield era. And spoiler alert, if you made it to the end of this video, I highly encourage you to watch the one that's going to come out on Sunday when we look at all of the other 12 or the other 11 uh, sets from Sword and Shield era that have booster box, because guess what? Brilliant Stars isn't the only one that's popping off. There's others. I am so incredibly excited. Like this is such a cool time uh, for us to be paying attention to these things and keeping our finger on the pulse of what's going on. I don't know if this is a sign that things are changing. I don't know if this is, you know, the ship's starting to turn in the water and we're headed to calmer seas. I don't know any of that, but all I know is this. We're seeing a lot of trends, at least in the Sword and Shield era, and I can't wait to share all that information with you on Sunday. So I will finish with this. If you're excited for that, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Best way to get there, best way to know when it drops, hit the subscribe button. If you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up. Questions or comments, drop them down below. I appreciate you all more than you know, and I hope you have an epic one. Talk to you all later. See you.